Today we are in Cary, North Carolina. We have a beautiful sunny day and we are at the Tesla meetup for the Triangle. There are lots of Tesla vehicles today and we have a special guest. We have a Tesla Cybertruck, actually two Tesla Cybertrucks that are attending today along with a Ford Lightning and Rivian R1T. So let's get started. Here we go, we got the front view of the Cybertruck. You dare put your hand in there, will it close on your uh, The worst part is right here. This, I've seen them chopping lots of stuff right here. Like the jaws of a shark. Well, that's what I mean. Right here oh, is really bad. <laughs> shark teeth on here. The, the headlights, yeah. I'm ready to drive off in it. It's got a unique smell, I guess that's it. I know the guy from Colorado. I don't know. You can open up. Got the charge port right here. So I hear you're from Pittsburgh. No, no, there, there's, a, there's another guy coming from Pittsburgh. Another guy coming Oh, so there's another guy He'll be here for one fish. So we can jump in? Yeah. We'll have two in the next 10 minutes. He's not eating food. But if he doesn't, that's okay. Because where are you? We got one. <laughs> Did you get the after? Are the floor mats uh, standard? These are aftermarket. Kids can play in the back wow. of the Bluetooth. That is a huge screen. Oh, it has that cyber truck smell. <laughs> 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 yep, that is that is slightly useless. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, well, that, that is so yeah. fast. Listen to her. <laughs> that is so responsive. Really? Yeah. Wow. Hey, that is impressive. Wow. I do like the seats. They are, they are, they are comfortable. Oh, look at this. I haven't seen that before. Oh yeah. Still got some plastic appeal on that one too. I actually saw that. I mean, the fact that they, the way they adjust the turning so that you don't have to turn it over just gives up. Oh, that's perfect. perfect. Oh, well, 
I'm surprised somebody has a 3D printed something. They have a really cool They should have already done Donnie, did you move the door? I mean, oh my God, it's like, <laughs> it's like, I, you know how you have to, I touched the door and moved it, and it's like one of those really heavy building doors that I have to get Don to move for me. Well, did you look at the, how thick the stainless steel is? That is, that is like a serious, st serious thick. Yep. Yeah, well, that's far, it was, I would say it was a little hard for me to one hand the door. I rather real serious. Yeah. Serious uh, stuff with it. Is this just regular steel? I don't do not know. It's thinner. Whatever that is, it's thinner. Yeah, the, the outside is definitely different than the inside because of the way this is folded. So I think this is just regular steel. Yeah, I agree. Exactly. And then this, this is, they've had so much difficulty trying to bend this in production. That's why it's taken so long. Wow, that's really cool. Well, that's not actually it's bent. It's just a solid design. piece. That's laser welded down down the side there. No, but I mean the creases and everything else for uh, for production has yeah. been tough. Well, I was just watching the Sandy Monroe thing. They were talking. Mm -hmm. It's not folded over. It hemmed like. Oh yes, do. yes, definitely. Yep, yep. This is just straight. It's thick. Yeah, there. Jesus. I mean, I don't know if you've tried closing one of these doors yet. That has some weight to it. Yeah, we were just talking about that. It is definitely. Uh, it is a big, but I think they save weight by making them frameless, you know. You know, in the six to seven thousand pounds, does it really matter? <laughs> and the front door looks similar. And we have a cyber truck threshold. Just a good view of the buttons. And oh my gosh, we have a stuck in cyber truck. Oh wow. Wow. And here we are. Oh wow, there is a lot of room up here. Yeah, there is actually. Mm -hmm. So notice the bent Lots of angles. <laughs> There's no button on this, it just lifts. Very deep. And a little light in there. And what else do we got? Is that all of it? I'm going to say. Yeah, we got a regular uh, NEMA 520 outlet. Nice. Not quite as. And two phone charger pads. And of course the included J1772 to Tesla adapter. Got the nice aluminum pedals. And oh my gosh, it does go on forever, doesn't it? I thought my Model 3 was hard to clean the windshield. You need like a four foot... Uh, uh, extension rod. <laughs> wow. And it's uh, the little rear view mirror that doesn't do anything. <laughs> well, I guess you could see it a little bit with the uh, tonneau open. Yeah, it's not great. But it is tiny. And this uh, so reminds me of the uh, uh, Model X has this type of mm. magnet for the uh, oh, wow. sun visors. Okay. Oh, and this also, this is actually like my car, uh, the Fisker Ocean has a bi-level uh, visor, so you can actually extend it. That is very nice. And let's check out the, uh, the, the little floppy Alcantara covers, just like the other Teslas. Let me see, how does this work over here? Oh, wow, that 
more than covers any uh, sun over your shoulder. That is cool. And then we got this long light bar up here. Is it just one? Looks like this has the protective plastic on it. Oh, yeah. And I don't know what this thing is. Speakers? Is that a speaker? Very odd. Maybe because we got, those are definitely speakers. Yeah. That's the, uh, we got a speaker up here, up here, tweeters here, and then door speakers there. Lots of LED strip back here. It's hard to see in the Yeah, screen. yeah. It kind of runs along, yeah. kind of similar to the new, uh, I guess the S and uh, 3 now oh, do that. It is a long, you're right. It's a long. <laughs> way down there. <laughs> Creep. <laughs> is there a way to use that space? But I guess. So is there a glove box? <laughs> yeah. Is there a glove box? I was tempted to drawer. try to open it. Glove drawer? Yeah. Hit the open glove box and see it will slide out. Oh, cool. Oh, I see. Good. So it does have actually a decent amount of space. If you actually had a manual, they don't have manuals in it anymore because all the manuals are online. So, but this nice little area here, you can put something. Definitely your I say coins, but you don't know you need coins for driving. So. Yeah, but but it, it, at least they. Uh, yeah, it's fairly deep. Interesting. So, can you close it yourself? Oh, push it. so you push it and it does that. So let's see. Does it do it both ways? Where was it there? So let's see. Tap to open, and then does it tap to close? Yeah. Nice. So it is multi. Very fancy. They up their glove box game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and it looks like he's got more uh, seat covers here. And a gigantic wiper, oh, largest wiper ever seen. Yeah. Does anybody know how it's much like it is to get a replacement for that? <laughs> you could probably. Well, what, did they have it on? The I think website? it's. I think it's two. Into, it's two. I think because I think it would be easier because see how they do there. So it is actually two pieces. They must have it on the website, right? Yeah. yeah there, there's got a way to do, be a way to do that, but you can. You can see it's actually two different pieces. Well, no, it is one solid one. Yeah, I think it's yeah, it's one solid one. But wow. Still, that is pretty sharp there. And very small headlights. <laughs> Foundation edition. You want your climate on it? Yeah, I'll turn it off for you. I'll turn it off for you. And we are going to turn off. All the ADAS cameras and sensors are in this triangle shaped piece right here. And we also have a small cabin camera in the center. This is one thing I think would be a little distracting with the white piece right there. That's something I would definitely modify. Mm -hmm. And then I don't think this moves like the newer cars do. I think, is this a solid? It looks like it's a solid. It does. I'm sure somebody, I'm sure somebody, kit, yeah. somebody will be modifying it. It didn't take that long for my car. But I love all the space in here. There's definitely a nice recessed area here where you can uh, put items with these. Uh, actually, this is hard plastic. It's not especially rubbery. But I think uh, 
Oh, you're right. I would have but, figured that would have some grip to it. Maybe. But it's still having this uh, this um, indention around the side here. Keeps things from moving, I suppose. Accessories. Big ol' accelerator pedal. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got under there? Any other surprising things? OBD2 connector. Oh, let me look under here. That way. So, do you press the button? And these aren't powered like the X, right? The doors are... No, they're not. They're not powered doors like the... Uh, but it seems like... It seems I'm wondering if that's... So you, the door's fairly heavy, so like when you push the latch, you really kind of have to go ahead and shove it open. Like, unlike on the, uh, like the Model 3 I've driven, it'll kind of yeah. pop a little bit. Yeah. Interesting. Now let me try it on my side. Wow, that is got some heft. Whoa. So like you hit the button... Uh, it did move a little bit. So we do have the same manual release button here, the door buttons, and I'm glad they kept the matte finish because my early Model 3 has the glossy, which is a mess. It is always showing. Now you can go in. So are you familiar with now, when the doors are closed, when you hit the button, do they open a little bit for you, or you have to, how do you, you still got to push on it. Yeah, it's okay. not like a, um, so, here, I'll show you. You're on the outside. Here, let's try it. Okay. Okay. A little bit, this does. Now, if you're inside, let's see, how does that work? Now, if you press this button here. Okay. What does that do? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> That's well, the nice window. window. We got window switch. You chop maybe it's child. So you got to <laughs> I don't think so, but yeah. Oh, I guess this But is, I press the button and you got to push. Okay. Right. So it's a little different from the inside. Interesting. So it's not powered like the X. Um, power open and close. Do me a favor take a picture of me and oh, my wife insists. I think secretly she wants I one, think right? he really insists this might just be used as No thank you. You see the lights in the bed. Step up on the red. Are you putting like flowers on your hair and stuff? Like it's doing stuff? Yeah, we're putting a lot of lights on the bed. Here's the charge port. It's got a little bit of a rubberized edge around it for uh, keeping water out. And like most Teslas, this will usually close by itself after a certain time. Let's uh, take a walk to the other Cybertruck, since we have two in one location. And this one also has the white interior. Interesting. Well, while this is open, we got to look at the inside here. Wa uh, windshield wash washer fluid. It's actually not that deep of a front. It's tall though. Probably fit two carry-on bags if you have them upright and small. And we have the button here. Now let's get a look inside. I haven't really seen a good view inside here. Oh, yeah? No, they're all... That one over there. They're all sharp. They're all sharp as crap. Don't run into it. 
They did put something on this one for your money too. Oh yeah, that's that is a, that is a good point. It's actually rounded and it has a piece of rubber on it. That is good to have because they'll have lots of injuries while that is open. And we got the little button here too. And since it's North Carolina in pollen season, nobody's car is looking good right now. I know I washed my car last week and it's already yellow. And oh, this one has slightly different wheels. This has a wheel cover on it. Yeah, and he's got the little um, lug covers on. And it's got a little cyber truck in the center it's cap. Missing the center yeah, cap, that's on back one. Oh, so it's a different. Uh, so it's a, it, I think he's got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is this is uh, new, but um, he apparently ordered that, that the, the back the cover itself is back ordered. I gotcha. Are these things uh, foundation series only, or? The yeah, foundation? they're all foundation, right? Right now. I think. Both of them said. Oh, the covers here are um, Etsy. Oh, okay. These are Etsy. Tano? Oh, this one's actually got a, uh, a center divider and bed storage. I haven't seen that. That's different. Oh, that's actually uh, aluminum probably, right? This one? Yeah. Tie down uh, are super strong. Oh, I'll have one. Brownie cookie? Yeah. Thank you. Go for it. Oh. I'm not gonna rotate, but yeah, you can definitely rotate them. They're not, they're not like a key they're not to, directional. Yeah, yeah, direction. Yeah. They're not staggered. Right? Not like the P85s used to be or whatever. Is this, or like is mine this is. The, the old, <laughs> when did yeah, my dad yeah, configured yeah. his on the 22nd? When did you? The 8th or the something. 8th, okay. yeah, December, I think. Yeah, he still doesn't have a mess. I just popped in my phone one day and I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> and they said, can you Should pick I it up? It it yeah, go for it. How long have you had it? A week from Thursday. Awesome. Yeah. Once it settles down, if anybody wants a test drive, we can certainly do that. Why? What you, what you got against it? Why? It's a shape Very good. I'll get out of the way. Oh, no problem. No problem. So, so, 
So Pete, let me tell you the magic thing I learned called depreciation. Well, you know, you don't love to Well, I have two Teslas now. Right, and they're... At this rate, I'm not selling my Model 3 ever because it's just not worth it. I mean... That is sharp. At least this corner is rounded. Gonna fly, turn it upside down. And <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, the headlights are down low. Up is the daylight, uh, daytime running lights. And on the video, in the video, you can see it's really <laughs> the uh, sink on it. That is huge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if AutoZone carries this one. You've got to have a lot of something on it. That's huge. Yeah, 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 that's huge. Don't, don't there are some cars that do two players. Well, I think they wanted that electric magnetic one that goes side to side. That's what, I don't I don't think they wanted the traditional. That's thing. that's version 2.0, right? Yeah. Well, actually, when I'm getting in 26, they're gonna have that. They'll, they'll add that. That'll get people to upgrade. Actually, I'm let do it. How much did a wireless microphone? Do you want it? Is it about midway up? Oh, I see. Yeah, it's about midway. I think that's like medium. Yes. Like your Tesla for you. Yes, I know that. It is officially pickup truck day at the Tesla meetup. We have three EV trucks. We have the Ford Lightning. We have the Tesla Cybertruck, and then we have the Rivian R1T.
Yeah, something like that. They give you a truck ladder? I do, they give you a ladder for the trunk. Yeah. How did you find out about that divider? And the <laughs> you don't know. If you go to the app, you can order it as an accessory. Oh, is that right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah they, I got the divider because then when things rush all around, oh, and yeah, the I boxes think it's are nice. Yeah, it's my room. So, like, I buy a bunch of groceries, stick them in the box, oh, yeah. call the box yeah. in, and the box yeah. doesn't move. Your I was like, why do I, I can go buy a generic box? And I was like, oh, it has a room. Yeah. I can match it. Well, what you need is a way to put the wheels on and have it extend down and yeah. make it so it self-driving. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with autopilot. Yeah, autopilot's not on yet. Yeah, it's not on yet. I barely have cruise control. <laughs> I just I got 12 a couple days ago in my other car, and it's actually pretty darn good. I'm afraid to try it. It's good. I've had it for a solid week now. It's really good. It's really good. It'll be in I cannot use it with off grid because because it is. I mean, I mean, I can do it. I mean, I'm can we test the tonneau? I haven't seen that yet. Don't want anybody to. As it goes up and down, but when it's up, you can see. Oh, you can see the truck. Okay. It doesn't it's hard to see by there, but you can't. No. Just this okay. And I have to put that going in. The, uh, yeah, I don't know if that was because of the structural design of it. It had to be an engineering reason. The reason why the window didn't go down, I was told, is they didn't want people to stick their hand through as the... Oh, oh I can on. You can hurt yourself in so many ways on this vehicle, know. so come on. <laughs> you can run over your foot. The, the guillotine uh, front, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, what was, that's what I was telling now. Whether somebody was just made that up, or yeah. And then how how heavy is this to close? Uh, oh wow! Eventually, you could test drive one. Oh, wait, I don't no, I'm not saying. So it's power uh, open, but not power close, right? The front is both, but the trunk is, you gotta lift it up. Gotcha. Yeah. This is a ton of power that slides up. Yeah, yeah. 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 there's one other that people are. Oh, I haven't thought about it. Okay, okay. okay. we'll just find out. And it goes, it closes beyond the, the window, so you can see the back window. Oh, wow. Yeah, that back window doesn't have very good visibility, yeah. but I'm gonna get a picture of that. That was really cool. And the cute little rear view mirror I noticed inside. You know what you can do? You can see your kids in the back seat. Yeah. I've never seen a tunnel cover like that before. Is this your new toy? Yes. Thank you for sharing it. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Tesla finally stopped resisting the AC outlets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On vehicles. There's two in the inside. You gotta have for a pickup though. You have to have them, yeah. But I mean, even cars that are like but the competitors to the Model so we got Y. Two NEMA 520 cars, and a NEMA 1450. Well, they all have stereo games. This has the back screen you can play games on, too, I think. They haven't enabled the games on the back screen yet. Oh, but it's just now like yes, because the S and X do. Right? Yeah, and even the twelve O's and the new three has it too. Versions back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of features that you have on a brand new one. So did you get these accessories with the delivered with the car, or you? Uh... These, uh, these were aftermarket on the app. The, okay. They come in packs of three. Uh huh. But that was aftermarket too. And then is that aluminum? That yeah. piece? Yeah. Oh wow, that's nice. Yeah. It's kind of crooked though. Like it's all and you could just put it anywhere you want because it'll just it'll hook into the, yeah, it'll slide along. Yeah, make sure. Uh, didn't want to make you have to do a demo, but. <laughs> you pull this up here and it slides. Ah, cool. And it locks right in. Yeah, yeah. Now that, that was after, but the ones that came with a few accessories because it's foundation, it came with the dividers over here. Like, don't use and it came with floor mats too, right? It came with the metal ones. I have the carpet ones at home. Did it come with that? 
Or no, just extra. That's that's an where'd you get the water bottle? Oh, the water bottle's yeah, extra too. Just go on the app and you can order it. So. Oh, okay. I, I can get you the water bottle. I can get you the water bottle. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, carbon fiber so sticker for this too. Of, I can put buy a couple extra. Like this one here is easier to tie. Uh -huh. Right. These came with it. The dividers in there, but that's just like small little plastic. They came with. I noticed the tie down is pretty beefy. Yeah. I was feeling it. I was like. That thing is uh, pretty solid. Sure is. Yeah, I haven't used it. Oh, there's a there's a, um, a a screw. It's a it's a hex key. I have it in the center console, and you undo it, and you just can move it wherever you want to. And I'm sure you can probably get extra ones. Oh buy, yeah, you, buy yeah, yeah. You go buy, buy extra. I'm sure people are gonna make, and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of aftermarket accessories. Oh, yeah. This is a bottle of beer. Here. <laughs> to tie down, that's the hook piece. But that, that yeah. I bought those two came with it, and the bottle offer came with. Yeah, yeah, they, they have rails, they're back ordered. Um, I've ordered the rails. The one up there, I think the PSI is like Which way are you going? Oh, it's tubeless, too. Ah, so there's screws in there. Is that big? Yeah. All those people, I can't see the sticker. The one up here has a pass in the back seat. It's like a little power connection for a light bar. You definitely need, I mean, I would just, for me, I'd be looking for the rest of it. Oh, yeah, that's how it's going to be. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's just like this one. You guys want to put this one in. It is pickup day at the Tesla meetup. We have a Lightning also that made an appearance. Oh, and there is the Cybertruck back from its second test drive. So I'm just very enthusiastic about it over yeah. here. So he's, uh, okay. It's a standard see. elevator operating procedure. Wait for people to get out before try to get in. Yeah. 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 Where'd mom go? I don't know that there. Oh. He needs to ride in it. Is it amazingly quiet? Yeah, quiet. I, I'm I've never been in. Oh, wait for yeah, now. that's right. impressive. Nice ride. Yeah. It's smooth considering how like unoptimized those tires are for yeah. highway or anything. You got a ton of cushion just from the yeah. tires being that big before yeah. you even talk about the air suspension. So yeah, it's kind of like a couch on wheels. Yep. Well, look how much lower that one is than this one. Yeah, he has it just set for that one. He yeah. said he liked it on that setting. Yeah. Uh, here's the bony about he, This one is, yeah, this is halfway. Yeah. It's... Yeah, the in. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So you'll feel it right there. Just push it that way. Sort of recess a little bit. Yep. Right here. So you put, oh, gotta push in that way. That takes some getting used to, huh? Yep. Yeah, eventually. After you cut your hand a few times, you'll fight, figure it out. Oh, I thought it was nice. It is. Now, could you use your fob? If you had a fob, would they have a fob for the side truck? That'd be kind of interesting if they did. On screen, but I don't know if there's a fob yet. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> Yes, no, Seeing it is absolutely necessary. <laughs> Driving it and going for a ride is the, the is other next step. And yeah, we also noticed these, uh, that little rubber thing. Ted, because you're going to hit your head on this, and it's already rounded. You can see it, the metal is rounded, but having this here is just a little extra. It's smart, cheap insurance. Yeah, I mean, I could see over time maybe. You know, little stuff like that. The only thing is, this plastic is going to fade pretty easily, and I'm sure you're going to get some people doing the um, converting these to painted or or changing them out to to uh, stainless. I want to see if somebody does something like that. I'm sure there's going to be tons of people modding this stuff uh, uh, because it just <laughs> it'll be like a Jeep. <laughs> yeah, sky's the limit. So these are not the original, these are um, Etsy. Yeah, right. So, considering he just got this a week ago, that was pretty quick to uh, for somebody to make those. <laughs> yeah, I guess once you get the dimension. Yep.
Here's a view of the right. under seat I storage. Want, I want to do, I want to do it. Sure, go right, for it. Just watch your hand. I want, I want to see what happens if we do it. Clear, clear. <laughs> it won't do it. Oh, I think because the keys on here. It won't do it on the wiper. I want, I want to. Do you know how the rear seats lift up? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, here. Save. I pull tab right there. Ah, interesting. Gotcha. Cool. He did not mess around getting accessories. Being fully ready to go. Huh. Oh, it locks in. And he's have the mole connector for the side here because they're two hundred fifty dollars. He put like a little. I think it has grooves to tie down more on the side panel here. Oh really? I didn't get those. Um, and the um, I didn't get the, you know, the, the snow tire. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I want to get the spare tire. I think I'm gonna um, Yeah, that was from Tesla. Um, the only thing I do want is the. Um, the, uh, I do want something to close the doors, but I did get these little, this guy on Etsy made these things like little covers here. I couldn't afford the cup. Ah, wow. Yeah. Yep, yep. And I got something in the inside. Just says stuff that doesn't yeah. rattle around. Yeah, and that, in, that, that center console piece, that's aftermarket too, it came from TW Wraps. Ah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I saw the other one, and the other one just had the, uh, uh, I'm surprised they didn't more, use like a more rubbery grip on those, um, you know, yeah. the the strips. <laughs> Things slide around really. Yeah. So I got that just in case I need it. No, something. that's great. Can I can I lower the suspension? Is that okay? Yeah, just make sure nobody's too close to it. Oh yeah, you don't want yeah, anybody. Yeah. This this side. What what level is this right now? I think it's medium. It's on high. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, it is high. Yeah, go okay. Ahead. We got people like packing the car back here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no one behind you. You're good. Here's a view. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go from high. <laughs> and that is, he said low? That's low or extract. Extract. So, like uh, for loading stuff in the cargo area, that's really handy or getting out because you don't have. Um, you know, uh, sideboard. So this is the lowest position right here. These have aftermarket or somebody 3D printed caps. And, uh, is this yours? Yes. That's awesome. How long have you had it? A uh, week since last Thursday, so about <laughs> 10 days. I probably sat in it when it was at Tesla because they got one and they called me. So check it out. How did you get the cyber pit? The trunk, the box? Yeah. There are, if you just go on the app, you can order them. Yeah, they come in a pack of three. How many miles you got on it? Uh, 500. So how, how's your charge going? Yeah. Uh, it's a couple hundred miles. Yeah, it's like it's 222. I understand this is yours. Depending on what I'm driving, how fast. No, this is not mine. This is his. <laughs> yep, yep. Charge. That's good. I mean, I can get where I need to go. I mean, mostly I drive around local or Charlotte or something like that. So it's super charged. People stop you. Oh, yeah. They ask me what it is most of the time. What is it? What is it? Who makes it? Yeah. Uh, let, let me ask you a question. Oh, oh I'm sorry. sorry, no problem. Uh, hey, no problem. Well, I originally ordered on November 19, 2019, during a pre order. And then on December 8th, they came in and said, Configure it. Do I want this or the Beast? The Beast was going to take it until um, December of next year, right? So this is just a dual motor. So is that all that's out right now? Is just a dual motor? Is that. Some people have gotten tri motor, but very few, like a couple people in California. Influencers? Like superstars like Kim Kardashian or whatever. Yeah. But the thing is, all it is is faster and it has a light bar. I'm like, okay, I mean, that's fast enough. I mean, four seconds, zero to 60 is pretty fast. I mean, that's the look. Yeah, enough to be dangerous. Yeah. I, I mean, originally I was going to get a beast and we're going to out that, you know, One of everything. Right here, you know. Oh my gosh, it is a uh, pickup day. I was joking when the F-150 Lightning came, but now, now we have a Rivian. We're trying to do the pickups line. Get them. Hey, Dylan, you watch out. Done. 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 Done.
Here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of the frunks. Here's the frunk on the Cybertruck compared to the frunk on the F-150. And now, now we're gonna have all three. we got three. We can, uh, re we can repeat Kyle Connor's coast-to-coast uh, yeah, -coast trip. We need the GMC. Oh, I've never oh, seen uh, one. Chevrolet Silverado. Silverado. I haven't even seen one of those on the road yet. Me they, they look they're, cool. They're pretty cool, yeah. And we have a Rivian R1C grace us with its presence. I put that in a deposit during the show. Oh, yeah. It's only 100 bucks. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I was like, for the R2? Yeah, for the R2, yeah. It looks pretty amazing. Yeah. I, I wonder how. Because the R1 and R, uh, the, the, the truck and the, um, the SUV are too big for yeah, me. I yeah. mean, it just won't even fit in my garage. I wonder how much the holy spec one is. I know oh, it's be, not be 45. No, no, it'll be probably pushing 70, 80 or more, yeah. Like any car, I mean. Yeah, there's been some complaints that that can get caked with snow yeah, in the winter because it's just kind of embedded, lowered. Yeah, it's so. Gonna fix that. You know, some cars I know, like uh, Mercedes stuff, have the heated you headlight thing. Maybe push it out the gear. I don't know how that would look. I'm sure they did something for aero yeah, on it. Because and, and it matches with when this closes, like. Exactly. So let's see. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, it's still it's still recessed. The lights are still recessed. Sandy Monroe said these are sticking out because of water oh, management. Because yeah. when I first saw it, I'm like, why is this? You can see the other. Yeah, one. it's just slightly it's higher. But yep. it's supposed to be for water management. It's not supposed to be flush. Yeah, I asked them about that. I said, hey, this is off. You have to adjust it. And they're like, no, no. It's supposed to be there. It's supposed to be that way. It's supposed to like. Yep. My buddy, that's a mechanic at Tesla, and he worked in the factory. He said the hardest part to fit is this one right here. Absolutely. <laughs> and this literally pops off. He really like walks up, pops it off, pops, adjusts it. Yeah. You can see how hard it's gonna be to wrap. Getting this edge. Yeah. Are you gonna wrap it? Yeah. What color? Matte black. Oh, Darth Vader. Yeah, because it, it, it's just so dirty all the time. And plus, it'd be a little bit different. All right, so the suspension's all the way at the lowest right now. And that's it for today's Tesla meetup event where I got to see two Cybertrucks and had the opportunity to see three of the major EV pickup truck rivals in one place. Sorry I didn't do much narration in this video, but the close-ups and detail should be interesting for you. It was a lot of fun this afternoon. By the way, see the video link in the upper right hand corner to see my Cybertruck ride along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.